Okay, good morning, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. First things first, JI Trader or JL Trader, uh, if your account isn't set up to short yet, and it, and it will be in a couple of days, I would just wait. Anything that you would do to the upside today would be not per my direction, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be overly anxious to do anything. You, you've got to have a good month. I think that's something that, <clears throat> you know, you wouldn't disagree with me on. So I think you should wait and just sit back and learn. <clears throat> Journey Woman asked about the ratings. I don't know why you're off in those. We have trials in here today, so I can't go over the points. But we can do that another day, but not the week before I have a class. I usually have trials in here. Five is the one I'm going to do. Very spready right now, but I think this works the best. Even though this rate's good, I don't like the volume. I don't like the fact that it isn't moving. I'll have it up. is what I'm watching. Uh, market, gonna make a new high today in the queues. Nothing stopping it. Spy looks weird. Did recover Friday. Who knows? Could do it today again. Climbing, climbing, climbing. 230 looks inevitable. Let's just do our one quick trade here today and be done. Ooh, look at this market. So the problem with Mondays is always the problem that I never like Mondays is the lack of volume. <clears throat> Whatever, whenever you have something that's gapping, it's you know, like this. I mean, this has volume, but look, 825 and nothing to hear. So it's just, I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to quickly enter something here today. So let's kind of play it by ear. Same thing with Urban. Lack of trading activity. That's why I much prefer Tuesday through Friday. So, you know, market is definitely bullish. Any questions? KO is looks okay too. This is a downgrade. <coughs> I think this is a downgrade. I did look it up. area <coughs> God, I don't have time to get water or anything uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere okay so five is up here in the main screen if you're here in a trial watch five is a short urban's a short this doesn't have enough volume but it may go oh areas a buyout yeah RWLK. Yeah. I don't like these LTDs. It does have volume. Spready. I need something to drink. I think I'm going to cough again. <coughs> Forgive me. I don't have time to get something. I'm screwed. Okay, good luck everyone. We're not jumping the gun today though, I'll tell you that. Because of Monday, lack of volume, bullish market, a whole host of reasons. And this is very spready, but I don't think it's Here's a construction guys out front of my door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, 
just wait. Just wait. Volume in this looks good, but very spready. Let's look at urban volume. This is starting to get volume too. Not as spready. All right. So I'm still watching the five first. Okay, this is rallying. This is rallying. Okay, there's nothing to do yet. Just be patient and wait. Everything's getting the volume though. Oops, I still don't like the five spread. Okay, there's nothing to do yet. urban up now let's just watch this a minute <clears throat> I'm watching two things right now here I can't watch three and this doesn't look half bad if this holds here although I didn't call anything in it yet if this flips over 28 this is off though Okay, let's do 96 by 40 urban. 96, oh, there, it just went. I didn't get it. Here, 96 by 40 urban. Crap. There, this is valid. 96 by 40. Here, I'm going to stay on it. Maybe I can get a second entry. Stops 40 in this. I wasn't prepared to do that. I was going to do this one. This is still rallying. All right, let me just move this over here. I think this could set up again, though. You could be in the urban. Well, hold on, we may get a chance. Okay, stopping this if you're in it is 40. I didn't do it because it hit so fast. I'm trying to see if I can get this, people. Forget the five. It hasn't set up yet, and I don't know if it does. AYI? No, I would never have done this, but we can look at it later. I did see the gap this morning. I could have rated it. I was never going to short that. It was a good gap, though. PG, I'll look at quickly. Some of you in the in the urban, I may I may do a secondary entry in that. No, forget PG. Here, urban. All right, let's find another way in. If you already did it, the stop's 2640. It hit so quickly that I didn't get it. So let's see if I can get a second entry in it which it looks like we're going to get if this holds. But the stop's still going to be 40. I will go over AYI, but there was no way I was shorting that stock. Okay, Urban. Let's do 99 by 40. And if you're ready in it, fine. Ready? Yeah, there's nothing to do. Well, you gotta wait. I mean, if you're ready in it, you're in it. Steel hard, I'll answer those questions after I'm done trading. I'm trying to get this. Some of you are already in it. Okay, that didn't set up. Just gotta be a little patient. If you're ready in it, you're ready in it. If you're if you were in it, you're out. 
never set up again. Here, who did it? You're stopped out if you did it, and I and I didn't do it. It never set up the second time. Who's in what? Who, is anybody? Did anybody do it the first time? Galahad did it. Came and do, do did it. You both got stopped out. You must take the stop. Pyro did it. Got stopped out. All right. Yeah, you gotta wait. If anybody had their stopping at 40, which is where it should have been, you just got stopped out. Looks like half and half did. Half people didn't do it with me and half people did do it. Forget the five. There's nothing to do with that. All right, I'm gonna sit here and watch Urban and see if it sets up a second time. That's what I wanted. If it doesn't, then I'm not gonna get anything today. And some of you stopped out, and if you if it doesn't set up again, then you'll take the loss and you'll be done. What did I say was the maximum resistance on this? Twenty seven. That's very far away. Okay, I'm going to keep watching Urban. Some of you did it and got stopped out. Some of you didn't do it, which I didn't because it just set up too fast. I guess I got lucky there. Can't go over 27 though. There's nothing else to look at. Just be a little patient here, people. It's Monday. Okay, 26.63. I'm not going to do this in the one minute now. I'm going to see if it sets up in the five. But if it goes over 27, I'm not even going to do it at all. Let's just wait. PG I was never crazy about. I'll look at it again. No. Boy, the markets look a lot different. Look at the Qs and look at the SPY. And five never set up. Okay, I'm going to stay with the urban here. If this doesn't set up, though, I'm not going to get anything today. Here, let's look. WTW, let me look at that. You can give me other ideas here, because if I don't do urban, I don't have any other watches. Certainly no other down gaps to do. Weight Watchers is falling. Weight Watchers. Not a great gap, but it's falling. Here's the target on Weight Watchers. Well, it did gap. All right, let's stay with Urban here. Weight Watchers is a valid short, though. 2681. Whew, you gotta be so patient on a Monday. Sue is saying 2715 is the next entry for Urban. Where are you getting that? 
You think it's going to go all the way up there? I, I wouldn't short this over 27. No one should be back in this yet. It's done nothing but rally ever since it bounced over the high. People are buying this as a gap fill. We'll go over it when, not, when either we're out of it or it's not going to work or whatever. Right now, I'm still watching it. The only benefit now is that it has the volume. Five is definitely never set up. And PG didn't work. Okay, let's go back to this. Boy, this just fell out of the sky. All right, still watching Urban. The last 20 cents here, it's just not gonna work right over 27. This isn't going to work. All right. Whatever. What do you want to go over? I'm not doing it. I mean, the first trade was valid. We can go over that. I didn't, I didn't do it because it hit too hard and half the room didn't, but some of you did. It's, this isn't, we can't short this. Look at that. It's, it's, it's not going to go red. <clears throat> JC Penny. Uh, I'll go over that once I just see if there's anything else here I can call or do, but WTW just opened and fell with no volume. Urban set up, flipped, and it's not going to go red today. It will hold the green bar. Five never set up. AYI was the best gap, but I never would have done it. I will go over that, though. Um, JC Penny's looks like it's flirting with trying to break the low in here from Friday. Yeah. But what are you doing here? If we trade gaps. This isn't a gap. It didn't gap today. So you're trend trading this to the downside. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Listen, I didn't do anything. Some of you did do urban. Some of you did nothing with me. Don't be over anxious. Just like I said to JL Trader, don't be over anxious here. It's Monday. What was the one from Friday? Tiva, hold on. Let's see if this followed through. If we could all squash the over anxiousness that we have, we'd all do a lot better in life, myself included. I'm not just talking about trading. Tiva? Tiva doesn't look bad. Except for this is not a new gap today, but it looks like a continuation. Under 35, Tiva could fall off a planet. If you're desperate for a trade, which you shouldn't be, but if you are, 99 by 50. 99 by 50, Tiva, short if you want something, if you're absolutely desperate. It didn't hit yet, but it's probably going to. 99 by 50, wide stop, target is really big. If Tiva breaks and follows through lower, it, I don't think it bounces here, which is 34.57. I believe it falls and collapses off a planet. I mean, look at this thing. So if you really, really, really want to take a second trade or if you didn't do anything, you want to do this, 99 by 50, I'm passing because it's not a gap. But it fell hard Friday, well after into the late morning afternoon, and it definitely looks lower. No, nope. see, this is done. This, this one, this one didn't even pass the number that Sue said. Absolutely sound advice. Oh, thank you. Uh, what do I mean by 99.50? Jewelry, I'll go over that in a minute, but I'm shocked you're, you're, you're asking me that now. Uh, SSI, if you want to make 10 cents on something, go for it. It looks lower. <laughs> it looks lower. All right, let's take today and let's not waste it. Let's not waste the day. Let's learn something today because I'm obviously not trading and some of you took a loss. You're going to have to suck it up because I don't see anything else to do. If I do, I'll let you know, but I'd rather you take one loss. It shouldn't be the end of the world. Urban isn't going to set up again. And Facebook is rallying a lot. Wow. All right, what do I mean by 99 by 50? 99 is the entry, 50 is the stop. And you got to know that before you take the trades. And I thought you did. I thought you did, Jewelry. Some of you, I can't read your mind. I can't read your mind, and I wish that I could, but I can't. I'm not that good. I'm not a psychic. But 99 is the entry. That means if Tiva hits 34.99 underneath the whole number, you short it. Put the stop at 
Where am I getting that number? Let's just go over it. Then I'll flip and go over the two gaps we rated this morning. Neither one is going to work. And luckily I didn't do either, but the trading gods are on my side, I think, in 2017. 34.39 is a high. I'm giving it a 10 cent cushion because of the fact it has a moving spread. So I have the normal cushion plus the moving spread. And this isn't a down gap. It's a continuation from the fall. And, and, and it did gap down. It gapped down on Friday. I had, had a good call on this. I mean, look at the number it went to. Never would have thought in my wildest dreams it would have gone like that. Here it goes. It's going to hit right now. 99 by 50. You short it at 34.99. You put the stop at 35.50 if you want to do Tiva. This is a follow through continuation gap from the sell off that happened on Friday and has a massive target. I'm not even going to give you a number because if I give you some crazy number, you won't take the first profits, which is really 34.60. You should piecemeal out of half that there. And some of you shouldn't do anything because you did do Urban, which did set up, but then flipped. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes there isn't a rhyme or reason, but we are going to go over the five, which never set up, and we will go over urban. Gator said, why is it you want to trade so bad? A good call. You started to trade urban before my call, but didn't. Thanks. Oh. I did have a, it did, it did set up, though. It was a valid setup. And Tiva hasn't broken yet. Tiva hasn't broken yet, So, but you can you can watch it. All right, let's go over the five first, because this one I never called and didn't do anything with, and actually, this still is lower. This is probably a great, great, great watch for the rest of the week lower. Um, here, let's look at it. This didn't rate 20 points. First, I rated it, and I missed something went back. It only rated 19. At a 19, it's a 50-50 chance of working or failing. This did not work today. It never set up. No one should have gotten you know, coerced into doing this. Very often you have these big sell-off bars and the stock gaps down, medium to large, which this wasn't large, but it was medium gap down, and then they flip. They get bought into this area of support because they sell off the previous day, and then they get bought into the, they, get, they basically get sold into the gap, and then they don't keep going down, they don't get sold anymore. But I will tell you this is lower. This is lower, this looks lower even this week, but not today. The market being bullish didn't help this today. Do you see where this came in here open today? Do you see this all the way over here? The stock had a gap down here that got bought all the way back from, it was a year ago, almost March. And so it came in today and got bought today on this area and just rallied up to the resistance. It doesn't mean it is it lower, it probably breaks and follows through tomorrow. It was a valid gap to rate today. This was on earnings and it almost cut the muster, but it didn't. So I watched it because I thought, well, if this broke early and broke through everything and fell off the planet, it would really go. But it didn't work that way. In fact, when it opened, it rallied. Uh, in fact, let's just see in the first five minutes of the day. I think this even reverse swooshed. It did. I didn't even notice that because I jumped over to the urban, but it did. So no one should have done it. And I don't think anyone did, did you? Did anyone do this? You shouldn't have, but, but I just reviewed why this didn't work. But this is definitely lower this week, probably tomorrow. Sue is saying urban is setting up. No, it's not. Don't short this. What are you going to short? You're, you can't short a bar that looks like this. Here, pretend this didn't happen. That's what you're going to short today? I wouldn't. Bullish market. Set up. Set up was valued. First set up was valid. We'll go over it. It opened and popped. Failed. Flipped. Went over the high. Rallied for the, next, for the last 20 minutes ever since then. You're shorting a 15-minute bar that looks like this. If you do, it's a scalp. It's a scalp that can make maybe 35, 40 cents, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't feel confident in doing it. I wouldn't feel a conviction because this bar will not go red today. The stock will not go red today. Every time I look at a stock and look at a gap and every time I take a short, I'm, I'm betting, I'm predicting, I'm taking it, and I believe full-heartedly that the stock will go red, red on the daily chart. And this is not not going to do it. If you, we look at this at 4 o'clock, it will look similar to that or worse. So you can do this if you want to, but I'm not calling it, and I would advise against it. It did not reverse swoosh, though. It opened and popped. It was fine. It dropped. It broke. Some of you did it. It hit so hard I didn't get it. And then I waited. This looked good. This looked good here. Look, I was going to follow through. I was just going to take it and take the original entry and just get the follow through. But it never did it. It went poop. And went over this thing here. This did not reverse swoosh. It still could have been okay. And it was giving it a chance and giving it a chance. At a certain point, you can't give it a chance anymore. It's done. It went all the way up to the resistance, which was the low here, which was 2740. Close enough. This is basically the same area. So it ran up in here and hit this, hit the butt in here. And it could come down in here, but then it'll go rally up again. And it could actually rally all the way up to 28. So I wouldn't short it. Tiva, is Tiva working? You're in Tiva, Galahad? All right. 
Why do you want to trade so bad for the same reason everybody does? You want to make money. Everyone wants to make money. Everyone wants to make money. No one doesn't want to make money. Galahad's in Tiva. Is anyone else in this? You're gonna you're gonna have to be patient with this. I'll tell you right now. If you it, this is not this is like an all day play the Tiva. I mean, I gave it a wide stop. It had a big bar Friday. You're just gonna have to be patient. The market's rallied this morning. It's only 9:50. So these continuations again take a lot of patience. Best traders in Tiva, New York City Bob's in Tiva. Pyro Tiva didn't hit for you. It did hit. It did, it did. It hit over here. I don't know what your chart says. So we're not getting the follow through in the SPY. We're kind of gapped down today in the SPY and the QQQs gapped up. So maybe that was why we're not getting really any good longs. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like any longs that anybody was talking about. ETRM, ETRM did open and rally. You could have done a one minute high in this, dollar stop plus, um, or you could have done it in here, another crazy big stop. What the heck is this? Anterior medics, wow. I would not have done this gap today, but it did work. And you would have had to take a bunch of sizes. Now let's go back here. Somebody asked me, Joary, do you understand how to take a trade? This is very, very important, and I wanna go over this. I'm gonna go over a Steelheart's question. When I say 99, do you understand the first number is where you short it, and the second number is a stop? Make sure everybody in here understands that, and you all should, but if you don't, then please tell me. And then I'm gonna go back and go over Steelheart's questions. An urban with a 2640 stop to risk $500, would you short 1136 shares at 2596? <laughs> you people are so funny. You must think that I'm a human calculator. I don't, I'm not that exact. I was just gonna tell you, in my mind, when in my mind, if I was doing this here, when I, in my mind, 99, 50, 99 by 50 in my mind is 50 cents, even though it's actually 51 cents. So in my Melissa mind, I would just say to myself, if I took a thousand shares, it'd be 500 bucks. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say 1,136. It's cute that you said that. If you can do that in your head that fast, then God love you. But in my mind, it's not that exact. I'm like 500, 1,000, 2,000, 2,500. You know, if I say, if in my mind, when I say 97 by 50, I'm thinking 50 cents. So sometimes a little over, sometimes a little under. In the end, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you get the trade. You don't so overblown oversize yourself that you want to risk 500 bucks and end up risking 1,500. And you also don't want to show under size yourself where you wanted to risk 500 bucks and you only end up risking 150. So, so it's just, in my mind, it's math is easy when I, when I round it out. But if you want to be exact then, and you can do it in your head that fast and do it or have a calculator next to you. Some of these trades, you do have time to figure it out in a calculator and, and you can make a cheat sheet. Uh, for the times you don't have times. Sometimes you don't have time now. Now today you did have time. You had you had a long time here from the time that I said 99 by 50 in this to figure it out. My way is better rounded off. I think so because on a normal day, like uh, I can't even think of anything right now, but in a normal day, if something would hit just like out of the blue, out of the sky, we wouldn't we wouldn't have time. Here, this looks okay. I mean, this, do you see how this is back here? I'm gonna just, let's just go over this here. And in fact, Steelheart was the one I think last week was saying, wait a minute, nothing's gonna sell off in this market. Obviously not. Look, do you see? The stock dropped, the market's uh, been rallying this morning, then it fell, broke, broke the load. Trying to go higher, trying to go higher, trying to go higher, can't do it. Do you see how weak this is? You can tell by the trading action, the one minute chart. And, and again, this is, you know, just a follow through gap from the, from Friday, which it sold off way more than I ever thought it would. I mean, I could have told some of you to do it over and over again. Here, this is gonna hit another time. This is valid, this is gonna go, but you're gonna be in this to lunch. So do you see here that this, this is weak and this is selling off even though the market's very bullish? And let's just look at the chart. But you can see how it's trading. You can see it. And look where this has to go. I mean, this has a long way down to go. 
it's a good trade. If you've got patience to trade out the afternoon today and a Monday, you, this is a good this is a good call. Okay, Jewelry gets it. Um, you took a small position in ETRM. <sighs> JL, I don't know what to tell you. I told you not to do anything. You didn't listen to me and you did it anyway. Some days you don't listen to me and you make money. Some days you do listen to me and you make money. I don't know. I think if you just listen to me every day so you make money, once you can start to short again. I know you made money in this today and I know you're jumping the gun and you're over anxious, but remember last year you want to do better this year. I know it's tempting and, 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 and you see something and you see it going and then you want to do it, but it's so critical to get the right entry in these things. It's just critical, critical, critical. Now let's look at this, because Sue was very excited about doing this, but I, I don't think anybody should. Did anyone actually end up doing this? I don't think you should. I don't think it will go red. Sue, did you do it or not? If anybody did do it, you're scalping it and the target's around 26.50. But I, I'm not even, no guarantees it even goes there. So let's go over it. Um, this one did rate well enough to short. It is a short in the bigger term picture, absolutely. We talked about where this got bought today. Okay, but this is probably good for the rest of the week too, just like the five. I'm really not making carry on this, but this is definitely a good, this might even be a good swing trade. Let's write that down. Uh, does anyone else have any other questions? I think I answered everything. Let me let me go back and look. The whole the whole thing about why do you, why is you know why does everyone want to trade so bad? Because everyone wants to make money. That's why. Let's look at some of these things. You know, we did kind of talk about this on Friday. I mean, it wouldn't have made any sense at all to do any options on a short week uh, and a holiday week. But, you know, on Friday, I saw Amazon rallying. I saw Google rallying. I mean, all of these things I saw rallying, and I wasn't in any of them. And really, a Thursday, Thursday, you, you, you I mean, uh, no. Yeah, it was Thursday. Thursday, I saw, I don't know at the time, it was in the morning or later. I mean, by Thursday, I realized that all of these things would have been great trades. So I'm gonna do an option in something, even if I gave it out the full on week, it, it, it just didn't make any sense. These things were so expensive to do. So so we can't, you know, if it was been so expensive to, to do an option and take it out in the holiday week, even when you see it's gonna do it, it just, it just it doesn't even make any sense. And then you're chasing it. You can risk X, Y, Z amount or take less shares, that's true. It's not, it just doesn't make sense then. You just say, well, it just, it's just too expensive. And, the, and, and it just doesn't make sense. And I'll wait for a better one. I'll wait for a better opportunity. I'll wait for a better opportunity that, that makes sense. I mean, of course, I wish that I was long some of these things and options. After I saw what the market was doing in the holiday week, between Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday, it was clear. But, you know, you, you, you know, you have to be able to pinpoint the opportunities before they happen so you get good entries. And, and very often I do that in those option trades, but some of them I, I can't see it's going to go there. I mean, look at this. This did not get over this number, I don't think. Let's look, 884. No. Doesn't really count. You see how this retested this? So this is really a crapshoot here with this Amazon. You see how this ran up and retested this? This doesn't. This didn't really get over it. So I mean, I wish that I had been able to capitalize on the bullishness in the market last week, which is very, very clear uh, in the QQQs. But who could have? How could we have predicted that? We couldn't have. So, you know, that's why we look at things that we can predict 
using the rating system, and this isn't going to go red today. I really wouldn't be short this, and I didn't make an official call on this past the first setup. But the first setup failed. It was still valid to do. If you took a loss in it today, there's nothing wrong with that. One loss isn't going to kill you. And this just never set up right. It's like a WTW. It's running on it. You need to know why 2715 was not a right entry on Urban. I'm guessing you're on the one minute chart. I don't see 2715. Where I, I don't even see this in here. Sue, where is the 2715? If you're looking to take an entry in a one minute chart, I don't see 2715 at all. Here's 2715. Where I don't see any entry in here that I taught you. I'm, I'm confused where you're saying 2715 at all. I don't know where you were getting 2715. Do you want to tell me? Where's 2715? There's no setup in here. Again, I wouldn't short anything in here that even is looks like it's setting up because of the way the gap is traded out today. But there's no trigger point at 27.15 in here in this one minute chart. I can look at the five, but I don't think there was in the five either. No, there wasn't. Do you want to tell me where you got that number? It's not here, it's not here, it's not here, and it's not here. Let's look at what the best gap was today, which I, which I didn't do and, and I wouldn't have done. It was this. So let's just see what the stop was. Um, it would have been 206, what would it have been? Let me, uh, this I have to actually get the calculator out for. I probably would have put the stop at 209, well, it would have been $2.50. So this would have been $2.50 for the stop. Let's see where it went. It actually was two R's in here. Holy crap, look at that. I would have never done it though. Would anyone have done this if I had done it? I would have never done it. I did see it and it was a good gap, but I didn't rate it because there was no way I was going to trade it. And I really thought Urban of the Five would work. I, I don't think anyone would have done this with me. Yeah, except for maybe Tom. But I, I, I couldn't do it. I mean, there was just no way. Galahad, you would have done this? You're the only one besides Tom. But it actually was two hours right in here. Look at that. In two minutes. I don't I don't I don't think I could have shorted this at a one minute low, even if I was gonna short a two hundred dollar price point gap like this, even if I liked it and was gonna do it, I don't think I would have done the one minute low. Let me just look at this here. 203.50 again it, it would have been about two two and a half bucks for the stop huge move look at that it dropped not quite about eight bucks eight dollars all right let's look at what's out for tonight everyone wants to trade even when there's nothing good, here, let me just look at what's out tonight, uh, because of the fact that everybody wants to make money. I mean, so, you know, and, and I want to make money too, but I definitely think that I've gotten better. I'm more disciplined, not chasing things or trading when there isn't anything good, especially last year. I just don't think it ever pays. Why do you think people lose in the market? I mean, people people lose. Well, most people lose. Uh, so you didn't you didn't answer my questions. Why uh, why you thought twenty seven fifteen was a number here? I have gotten more discipline. Oh, thank you. Some of you want to have fun along the way. Well, to me, making money is fun actually. But the problem is that losing is not fun. 
So making money is definitely fun. So if your choice is, this is tonight. This isn't moving at all. I'm just going to scan here while I'm talking. If your choice is, if you want to make money, that's fun. That's true. Losing, though, is not fun. So if you, if you have a choice to have fun, no reaction, which would be not doing anything, you're not having fun, you're not having a terrible time, or having a terrible time, which is losing, then, you know, you can't have fun every day. You can try, but I don't want to be miserable, which is losing. Some days you just have to be neutral, like a stock. Uh, Kuda, maybe. This is out tonight. The other thing didn't have enough volume. This is thin too. Boy, thin things tonight, but I'll put it on the list. All right, I'll put the list in the room, but the, everything looks really thin that's out tonight. Uh, because, it, because it started going down, because it started going down at that point, I, this bar is the high on here, the high it's set in the day at 943. The high is 27.27, and I don't see how it started going down at that point. If you're looking here, the high of this is 27.11. I still don't get the 27.15. None of these numbers say that. It didn't start going down at all. It's not going down whatsoever. It's been rallying ever since this breakout bar here that happened in 934. If you scalped it and made $60 and run home with that money and don't look back, this is not going to go red today. In fact, I told you the target, if it keeps going higher, is 28. But I, I may just flatline here. I still don't know where you're seeing the 27.15, unless there's something off on my charts. Here's tonight's watches. I used to say this all the time to uh, to Tom. It's just so important to feel good about yourself. And you don't feel good about yourself when you do things that you know you shouldn't. Now there was nothing wrong with this, and I almost did it. I had the hand of the button, and it hit. It broke too fast and then when it bounced I thought I'm going to wait for the confirmation. The confirmation never came. The confirmation would have been the secondary entry, the break of the same number, the follow through and to hold the high and didn't do it. So I never got the confirmation. It had the volume in here though. It was a valid, valid entry. It just didn't follow through. So sometimes things rate well, trigger, fail, that's when you take the loss. If they set up again you can retake it. I kept watching it. I kept watching it, 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 it never set up. So I didn't chase it. Of course, I wanted to trade today, but I think I'm more relaxed on Mondays than any day of the week. And I luckily, I didn't take a loss today. The problem with Mondays is you have low volume, and you don't have everybody sitting at their desk looking at stuff or pre-planned things from the night before. And the market is bullish. And I don't care what anybody says. And even if we fall in a little bit here, I mean, we're still bullish. Very, very bullish and back up near close to the highs again. So, you know. We all want to make money, but I think, I think as you... As you grow as a trader and mature, you realize that feeling good about yourself is more important than necessarily the money some days even though there's probably days where I if I start the day down like so let's just say I had done this if I had done this and taken a loss in this which I didn't but let's say I had if I had could I have been able to find something else to come back in the day yes would I have I don't know maybe it depends if I had to leave the house or if it's something to do today or if I had time to sit here and and fight to come back for what one R I mean fighting to come back is you're down you know five R's you know, some of you have this mentality like, oh my God, you can't lose at all. One R, you should not feel like you're fighting to come back because one loss can spiral into three or four before 11 o'clock and you're really chasing, chasing your day then. I mean, so the problem then becomes, you know, if, if, you're, if you feel like you can't accept one R loss or one loss of the day, or one loss in the week, or one loss in the month. If you can't stomach that, then your risk is probably too great, or your mental attitude is shot, and you gotta overhaul it, because no one should be fighting to come back from one loss. And I'm talking from experience, because when I first started trading, I felt like that, I never wanted to lose. But, but you learn through experience, and you grow and you mature, and you realize it's not that big of a deal, and that the potential that, that the one loss could turn into three very quickly 
which would be harder to come back from, is, is, is a problem. Because if you start out the week with two losses or three losses, and that's how you're starting out your week, it's, you know, how are you going to end up making your financial goal, even if you have a great gap, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you take too many losses and the start out the week on a Monday, you, you might be able to come back the following day in one false swoop, break even, but then you got the rest of the week, which would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that's if you make three hours on the Tuesday. If you lose three on one day, you're basically not starting your week till Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Where is your mental attitude going to be? This, this trying to come back and trying to come back and trying to chase it and trying to get in, out in front of it and trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to come back. Here, you know what? I should, you'll have to go, Kim and Duty. I'll see you tomorrow then. Um, look at the five. Trying to come back from behind as a mentality or, or, or having that mentality is problematic even if it's the reality. I don't know if this makes any sense. No, I would, I, would not, I would not do this. I would not do this. It's set up at 9.40. It's set up before 10 o'clock, but I don't like the way they're rallying here. I don't like the first 15-minute bar. Could you get a short in this today? Better than Urban, yes. Might this go red today? Who the heck knows? It might. It might go red today. But the fact is that it opened a reverse swoosh. It ran up here straight up till 9.40. I don't know for sure if it goes red or if it stays green. I said I think this is a good watch for tomorrow. If it collapses under the low, though, it for surely will go to the numbers I gave this morning. But it's going to do it late. It's 10.15. It's Monday. This is set up, though, in the 15-minute. So would I have done this? No. Is there an entry in, there, in here? Yeah. On the 2-minute, you could have done this here. You could have done it here. You could have done it in the 5. You could have done the 15-minute. You could do it right now. But where is the stop? The stop would have to be over 39. It would be $1. I think this is a better watch for tomorrow. Or Tiva, if Tiva goes. Let's look at the Tiva again. Tiva hasn't gone anywhere yet, but it still looks weak. I forget what I was going to say. Oh, trying to, trying to come back. I should talk about this tonight in the webinar. I'm really not a football person. I really just don't even understand the game at all. I know when you get a touchdown, it's this many points, and when you have a field goal, it's this many points. But I did watch the games. To, I like had him on in the background. I was doing stuff yesterday. Um, the Giants, they were talking, talking, talking. They had a good first period or whatever. They were up three points. And that, you know, and then they were up six. I mean, they, they weren't really scoring. They weren't really they, – they, were, they, were, they really weren't pulling ahead. They weren't being aggressive. They weren't being aggressive enough to win, to pull, to pull ahead. So then they started to get down. So then it was break even, I think. Then they started to get down, and then they were trying to come back. And then it was a blowout. It was a blowout like the first game. So, you know, if you want to win, you come in strong. You come in strong at the get-go. Trying to come back is nearly impossible in sports and in trading. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's impossible, but I'm saying it's, a, it's the hardest way to go. Now, in, what the problem with training is that some people's mentality is, and, and I get this all the time, I mean, actually Steelheart, I had this conversation with you whenever that was a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago. I mean, when, when, when people mentally in their mind are thinking that they have to come back from anything, anything at all, which, which and, and I, this is a complete generalization, but this is people's mental attitude. Like, let's just say you started trading. Let's just say you started trading on your own in 2014. And you lost money the whole year, whatever you lost. Then you took a class. You didn't learn how to make money in that class. So then in that mind, you tack that money on that you lost from the, from the trading from the market. Then you tack on the money that in your mind that you're down negative from the class you took because you couldn't make it out of there. And you take another class, another class, and then you go trade again. Meanwhile, in your mind, you're, you're from day one, whenever you started this process, to wherever you are right now. And in your mind, you're chasing to come back. So you are, you are behind the ball of the get-go from the beginning. Instead of getting up every day looking at the five or urban or whatever and just trying to make money on the day living in the moment. It's one of the reasons why people struggle with trading and, and it's definitely one of the reasons why trading educators get the short end of the stick. In fact, I was talking to Rashawn about this this morning. 
I was talking to him about this this morning and because I got some nasty, nasty email over the weekend from a person that's been following me for quite a long time that was interested in the class and was even in, in trials and then went off on me in an email out of some, some anger that was, seemed so personal, but this person didn't know me at all and actually had done several trials, but I think they've been following me since, since the class was a lot cheaper. And all of a sudden, this person was very angry. People want to put a face to the anger, which is why people don't like trading educators, and I'm generalizing here. Some of you really appreciate me, which, I, which I, I'm thankful for. But people want to put a face to the anger they have with the losses in the market. They want, to, they want to put a face to them because I have a face to my business. Sometimes they put a face to me. So if they see someone that knows what they're doing or is successful or is charging for information, even if they know the person knows what they're doing and have been following them for a while, which this person has, or they wouldn't have been watching every video or reading every email for umpteen years, they want to, that person probably has been losing for the whole time they've been watching me and never did the class and wants to just yell at somebody. So the problem is that people have to accept personal responsibility and you can't, you can't live in the past, and I know it's hard, but you, otherwise you're chasing from behind and you never, you never get a fret. The Giants didn't come in hard enough to win yesterday. Who knows why, they just didn't. It was a boring game from the start, and I thought, and when the announcers were talking that they were, they were doing well, I thought, they're not doing well, they're not doing anything at all. So, and then they, then they, then they let it slip away. And that's it, it was done. I knew it was done. After, as soon as they were, as soon as they were up by the six points then, it was like 14 to six, I know, I said, this is done. And then it turned out into a blowout. And they just had touchdown after touchdown after touchdown on the team against them. And again, I'm not into sports of football. They really reminded me, you got to be aggressive. You go in to win. This chasing to come back mentality, it doesn't serve you. And the problem is that people are like that in their mind about the market and classes, and they roll it all together in one big lump. And they never, they never make it. They never really pull ahead. Somewhere along the way, I forgot how much money I lost at the beginning. I have amnesia about it. I would never want to live through that experience again, and, and I never will. But if you don't have amnesia about stuff you did, trust me, you're going to have a hard time pulling ahead. I don't watch sports in general. I just happened to watch the, the games yesterday because, because the Giants are in New York. It would have been nice if they made it. And friends of mine actually uh, went out to the Steelers game. She had the Facebook Live on there because they're big Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and they won. they won. That was a blowout. All right, good lecture today. Great lecture today. Great lecture today. And for those of you that lost money in Urban, suck it up. Come back in tomorrow. We're going to have a good week. I have no idea what we're going to get. As far as the market, just let it pull back or do whatever it's going to do. I don't know. If earnings season doesn't start till next week, we talked about this. I don't know what I'm going to call an option again. I have absolutely no idea. I know we're not going to chase them. Think about what I said. It's good to hear I'm not a Steelers fan. I don't, I don't, I don't really have an allegiance to anyone. I just, I just would have been fun to have New York be, be in, the, in the Super Bowl, that's all. But they, they weren't aggressive enough. They didn't come in to win. They got behind, and it's hard to come back from being behind. And if that's your mentality, you have to, not only do you have to overcome the coming back in your mind, the pressure, it's the pressure, the pressure you're down, the pressure you're down, the pressure you're down, you're down, you're down by one touchdown, two touchdowns, three touchdowns, holy crap, we got 11 minutes left to go, it's never going to happen. So I'm not saying it's that way with the market, but I'm saying one loss you can come back from on the week. Three losses to start your week, 11 o'clock on a Monday, it's hard. It's hard mentally. You got it? All right. Have a good day, everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome, Joary. All right. See you tomorrow.